Hey guys, this is Shafakash Nara and today I'm here live from Devon, UK. So I'm going to cook some amazing chicken hot pot in an Indian style. I'll show you some. Good. So, <laughs> see this guy is fucking <laughs> around. So I'm here. I already saute some onion. I caramelized them with the indian mustard oil and some spices indian spices as you can see here is the cinnamon stick cardamom and all the whole spices and with some green chili i just saute it just turn it off right now so rest of the things i got here some vegetables like carrot tomatoes potato mushrooms and here are the, some chicken as well chicken legs i got and i put some chili in that doesn't affect anything so i'll turn on the flame now on a high flame so as you can see the color is already caramelized the onion is caramelized here so i'm i'll show you Okay, let's keep the phone here. Whoever is watching, just say your name. I will reply every of the, your answer, whatever you want to know about the recipe or my channel. So, according to the Indian time, today is my birthday. So, whoever is watching can wish me the happy birthday. It will be my pleasure to get the wishes from you. So, here is the chicken now. So the earlier I put the green chili which will give you the mild flavor but the chili I will put with the chicken it's going to give you some spicy flavor so I'm going to add it now So here is the chicken. I'm going to put some salt in that right now, which will help in reducing some natural water from the chicken. I know there is some light issue currently the onion is already caramelized and the chicken is raw when they will cook together you will chicken will observe the flavor of caramelized onion together I put the onion in that so chicken is already start reducing the water as you can see here At this stage, I want I want to put some ginger garlic paste in there. So here is the packet. I already got the ready made. I didn't get time to make the fresh one. If you have chance to make a fresh one, better to use that one. So full packet. I'm going to add it in there.
maybe in India it's early morning right now, but here it's only 10 o'clock. So I will leave this video as it is. So whenever you wake up, just good morning to all of you guys and watch my video, whatever I'm doing right now. So as I can see, feel the smell, you know, I can smell it. The flavor of ginger garlic is coming out very nicely now. Huh? I will show you guys how it looks right now. You would not believe the how beautiful and the nice sm smell is coming out from the chicken right now. I turned. When you put the chicken in that, always keep your gas flame on simmer. Do not put it on the high flame. So, guys, once you feel, once you start feeling that your chicken is already cooked 80 or 90 percent, so put tomato after that only because tomato is having some citric acid in that. That if you will put before cooking the chicken, so the tomato will not let your chicken be soft you know because the reason behind that i'll show you the chicken may be cooked but the tenderness the tenderness will not be the perfect one it will be like chewy not the soft chicken so my chicken is already cooked it was not that much that's why i didn't take time so i will put some tomato right now and with the tomato I'll put some carrot together. Hello sir, it's, it's hello sir. It's 3 a.m. in the India. Yeah. Thank you for telling me about this. And some potato together because these are the hard vegetables which will take some time to cook. If you guys are having some different vegetables, whatever the cauliflowers you can put, you can find it easily in India. And leave it as it is it doesn't matter i will not put any water right now because tomato tomato will reduce their own water so the flame is very slow right now so let the tomato will cook slowly i already put a soul in that after five minutes I will start adding some Indian spices. So the only vegetable is left mushroom because I want to put them after at the last. I don't want to cook them all together. As you can see my pan is already full but the color combination looks very nice. Because this video is going to be uploaded uh, as it is. Uh, I'm not on Instagram, I'm live on right now on YouTube. YouTube, guys. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing is, mm, before the making this video on live on YouTube, I was on live on Instagram. Okay. So there was coming some followers, I need to reply. Okay, okay. Then, but then I realized I should go live on YouTube. I have a like after 1k followers you can go 1k live you can go yeah, yeah, 
see in this re recipe whatever you do doesn't matter just make sure your vegetables doesn't get overcooked or messed up with the chicken there there must be some rusty flavor coming out with this whenever you are eat so i'm so i'm not going to eat it with chapati or something i need to cook some rice as well so let's put one pot for the rice i need to find one pot so here on the another range i will soak some rice till then So <clears throat> here I will keep some rice for like 10 to 15 minutes. It will be soaked. After that I will cook them. Till then let's focus. Hello sir, it's 3 a.m. in the India. Okay, the council. I don't know your name. It will be very grateful if you will tell me your real name. It's 10 o'clock here in UK. Hi, hello Megraj. I do I know you personally? I I don't think I know you, Megraj. So you are from wh which part of India? leave it as it is I, I think I should cover this for five four five minutes so I will cover it no nope, it's a random subscriber I'm from Gujarat the Western state yeah I know the Gujarat very well and I am very big fan of cricket so I like the Gujarat Titans as well But I never got the chance to visit Gujarat in my entire life till now. But definitely I would like to visit there. So let's come to the chicken. I was telling you some story about the tomato and chicken. So it was like that. If you are cooking this, if you are putting anything citrus in any of the meat particles, it will not help you in cooking the meat. It will cook the outer layer but it will not give you the soft softness of the meat so th that was the only reason I put the tomato at the end as compared to the other recipe but if you are cooking any veg items that's fine if you are cooking the tomato earlier that's fine it doesn't matter but for the chicken I'm just telling you uh, just we focus on that so only the mushroom left for me you can put any vegetable, any vegetable, like any hard vegetable, soft vegetable, soft vegetable, always put at the end when is your curry is ready. But the hard vegetable should be cooked with the this your meat items. So I so I left my chicken to cook in some steam. So I put one plate on the top. So here you can see the rice is already soaked here. So just I will eat with the rice. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, hi Megraj, hope you are enjoying watching my live session. I think you are the only one awake right now in India. I'm sure definitely some people will come later and watch my recipe, whatever I'm cooking. This is basically, I'm cooking for myself and for my one of the room partners. Yashwan is here, he is from Bangalore. <laughs> 
they don't even know you. Don't worry really about them. You know, lots of people are coming from, from, from coming from Gujarat. They are telling me that I'm from Gujarat. Yeah, I just letting them know. Yeah. So basically, I'm from near to the New Delhi. Hope you guys know the place, the Rajivad, near it, which is more famous for other things. <laughs> I don't need to explain. Yeah. Let's check. Let's check how the condition is. Uh, and yeah, one more thing. When, whenever you are cooking anything like, if you are sauteing and here it's fine if your flame is high. But once you cook your chicken in your pot, always simmer your the heat. Okay. So let's check. I'll sh I'll show you with the back camera. So as you can see. I am a strict vegetarian but it's nice learning cooking tips here. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry to say you have to see the non-vegetarian things cooking by me. Sorry, the camera is getting blur. See, you can see I didn't put any any water, any additional water I didn't put. See, the, the all the natural vegetables is reducing their water. Okay, I think this is the time to put some Indian spices in that. <clears throat> See, I will put whatever I got from India. So, I recently moved here. So, I bought some ingredients with me. So, here is the Degi Mirch which you will find easily in India, MDH. I am not promoting anything here. So, I will put some like a tablespoon of red chili powder. I I don't want to add turmeric in that but that's fine to give some good combination the color combination in there See, turmeric just little just little I will put in that not much which is very good for the health beneficial but I put only little <coughs> and also I have some coriander So here I have coriander, coriander powder. I want to put two tablespoon in that. That's fine. It will give you the flavor of rustiness. So here it goes. When you are putting any any of the other ingredients like spices in that, always keep the flame low. So here is some meat meat masala, chicken masala. You can say whatever, whatever you got. So. One tablespoon simply will go in there. So these are the only Indian spices I bring with me. So I'm putting all them together. But if you have any, I don't, I don't think, and I don't think you need to buy any other ingredient as well because these are enough. Like three, four spices are fine. Because I'm, I, I'm not making any fancy dish here. I'm just cooking for me and myself. As you know, it's my birthday night here it's all it's still 12 but i already started receiving some birthday wishes on my instagram so so here here you can see i put all the spices together to give a good perfect combination and still i didn't put any water in that if you see if you see any of the meat particles are stacking about in the bottom of pan so don't worry just scratch it out it will be good it will give you the good flavor it doesn't matter in the meat items so oh, happy birthday i hope make a lot of new friends there yeah thank you thank you so much thank you so much for wishing because of the fog steam is coming out So carrot, so carrot itself is having lots of water in that. Potato is also having lots of water and starch together itself. Once I put the, I left my all the things together for the steaming. That's why I reduced the water in that. I didn't put any additional water, and I don't even want to put. I will put at the end 
and always put the hot water when you are putting anything cooking anything it either it's veg or non veg doesn't matter so i don't need to put lots of ladle in that because that's fine here the only the mushroom is left for me i think it when i put all the raw vegetables in that the it was filled till here but now it's going down slowly slowly so now it's time to put some mushroom in that oh it's gone out doesn't matter yeah i will mix mushroom as well steam mushroom will leave the lots of water now i'm telling you trust me so till then i will wash my rice it's already soaked here so apart from the mds masala is this an indian recipe from some um, apart from the mds masala is, is this an indian recipe or from somewhere else yeah actually this you can say it's a indian recipe but i don't know say it's because i'm cooking it in indian style so anyhow it become indian home style chicken curry with lots of vegetables together but it's not like that i as i mentioned it's a chicken hot, hot spot it's a <clears throat> continental dish you can say it comes from mm, the european style yeah because they how they make they put lots of garlic chop garlic chop leeks celery together and some chop of the carrots as well like a mirpur after that they will saute it put the chicken lots of chicken and a roux and milk together it will become white sauce it will become like a, in a white sauce in a white thick not a thick it will be like soup soup type but a thick soup so it's not a indian but i'm cooking it in a indian style because i don't want to eat that one and here it's very hard for me to find all the ingredients like uh, indian indian ingredients most of the people is eating the different vegetable the english vegetable you call in india so it's very <laughs> local vegetables here in uk in indian people might eat it with chapati paratha how do they eat in it uk uk basically they eat with some uh, i don't know how they eat uh, they eat with some rice they don't but i'm pretty much sure they don't eat with paratha and chapati they eat with some breads and some buns only i have see as i can show you my gas range my gas range is made of made for the induction like it's a electronic one so it's very hard to make me chapati here or if i will cook the pan will always burn from the bottom it's very hard i got I got everything for making chapati here. I have my rolling pin as well. As I can I can show you. Whenever whenever I'm missing my Indian food, I always go with the chapati and whatever vegetable I got. But I'm pretty much sure you can have it with. As you say, you are pure vegetarian. It's better for you not to put any meat items. Just cook it as it is. All the vegetables together and make it in a liquidy form. Yeah. If you have any queries, you can ask me here, or when I will post this live on my YouTube channels, you can come any time on my comment box, and I will reply you over there as well. I'm always active in my whenever I get the free time. I'm going to add some salt in there. 
right now whenever you are putting salt in any of the this do not do not put blindly huh? always measure it so i am measuring it here i am not making this video for professional or anything just whatever rusty nails or whatever i am watching just go on with the flow so the salt is here i will put it and this is i i already tasted it's not enough for me i will put water in that at the end so salt we can put any time whenever we feel if it is less so mix some salt in there i would i would like to show you guys see it i am even not able to see see the meat is already start leaving its bone here so the meat is cooked but the potato will take little more time because i put it end at the end if you guys want it to cook all together you can put carrot and all the hard vegetables not the soft vegetables all the hard vegetables together with the chicken but always remember to put the put your coriander at the end so i will put i'll put one 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 bowl one bowl of water in my in my this hot pot just i'm putting one right now i want to reduce it little bit and i'll put more hot water once it is finally done so i will leave it now i forget to cook my rice sorry guys and those who are thinking wait up Ah, it's all right. <clears throat> Sorry, I went to turn off the music sound actually. So yeah. <laughs> so those those who who are thinking like I use the tap water here, it doesn't even matter here because all of the Europeans are using the same water. It's very pure. You can use it in your cooking. So here I put already the rice water is here. I will turn on this on a high flame for a, for a while. And in rice also I will put some some what salt. I'm cooking this rice for two people. Hi Mehraj, uh, if you are still here, you can ask me any question. I think this live is already going for half an half an hour. Make sure the bottom is dry. Good. When you put it in the thing. Doesn't matter. Ready? Oh. Uh. The electricity won't get stopped.
wasn't the tap tap water too cold to add into a dish that is almost cooked yeah you are right because i use the normal water from the tap there is two option like one one side is hot water one side is cold water so i use the hot water always go with the cold always go with the hot sorry so here i'll show you guys it doesn't even start boiling right now so because i, I put on the simmering not on the high high flame so till then till then it will be cooked i will remove this mesh from my kitchen i like to keep clean always So no one is coming here to clean my dishes, I am the one who will wash. As it is, I wash, I wash. How did you do? Are you doing any study? No, I'm not studying here. I'm professional chef here. Right now, I got the job as a CDP here. There is lots of opportunity. I came with some consultancy here. The local consultancy they hired. I given the interview after that. I gave some eyelids test to the government live in Delhi. And the same process is easy process. If you have some skill, you can come here on a skill visa. As how I came. I don't know about the study and all here maybe they have some they have different different visa or different process but for me it was very easy to come here And yeah, who? <clears throat> yeah, as I mentioned already, I was live before this live session on YouTube. I was live on Instagram. So the beginning of caramelizing the onion, I already shown on Instagram, but I didn't share that one. So who missed? out this that one i would like to tell them i use the mustard oil in the beginning because i like that one and which is healthier than the other sunflower oil or any vegetable refined oil it's the better to use the mustard oil and which i always prefer and i always cook for myself whenever i cook for myself i use the mustard oil better and when i was coming here my mom gave me this ig as well so i use only little it's for the flavor at the end i will put and eat the, with the rice so the, this one is almost ready just need to reduce some water in, in there i think this live will be more lengthy i don't want to i don't i don't even think the people will watch it till till the end but uh, let the people think uh, i think i, sh I should show Mer okay only the mehraj is here just let me know if you are interesting to see the full recipe with the rice so i will keep the live on right now and yeah i put the mustard oil some indian spices in that in the beginning 
after that some indian whole spices only whatever you got just put because like cinnamon stick cardamom cloves cumin seed stainless whatever you get just put few 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 of them together once they show things i am bored of movies anyways <laughs> what kind of movies you watch usually actually we had some mutton party in a different chalet today but somehow it got cancelled that's why i'm cooking it too too late so i thought i was having off today i had day off today so this is my first live you know this is my first live on youtube i don't usually come live on youtube i just cook separately in a professional way and then upload it on my youtube channel <clears throat> So yeah, once once your whole spices will, the smell is coming out from the oil. Then put put your yeah onion. I use one red onion, one red big onion. As I can show you the red onion, the Indian, the uh, normal one. I use the one only one, the bigger one. You can roughly chop it and caramelize it. Once you will see it's all the not the transparent it should be proper caramelized should be equally cut should be equally sauteed well once it is sauteed well then only put the your chicken because once you will put your chicken in that it will start reducing the water immediately so then the chicken then the onion will not be able to cook it's themselves whatever they will cook they will be like that only after that they will start boiling because of the water reducing from the chicken when you put the chicken always keep your flame low it will help to cook your chicken properly it will not be stuck in the bottom of your pan as well and also after this what i did yeah after that is all all here in live i put green chili in two stages stages because in the beginning when i put for the, uh, while sorting i did you study culinary arts in india yeah i studied my bsc in hotel management from srm university uh, delhi and sir campus that's a 3 year degree course after that i and also i have done my industrial training from uh, itc grand chola chennai which is one of the india's biggest property indian property like after that i went pune for one year oxford golf resort which is india's not india's only the asia's best golf resort for one year after that i came back to delhi i worked around two year almost that was the covid time also after one year the covid period came here and uh, i will reduce the flame for rice okay yeah after two year in delhi again i back got chance to work in one of the india's best restaurant which is in itc grand chola the call they called it the avartan the spelling is a v a r d n avartan which is south indian contemporary cuisine based which is very fine dining you can go on youtube, YouTube oh, sorry and google and check check it out it's very really nice and after working there for few months i went to kuwait i work with the gastronomica which is the gnc is one of the leading restaurant chain almost i work almost there one one year after that again i came back to india for like vacation then i got the opportunity to come to uk now so now I'm working here for like almost a month now I'm working as a cdp here right now which is Rice is start boiling there. Let's check the curry. Curry is very similar. I think I need to 
turn on the flame you know it's very hard to handle the flame on this electronic electronic gas range because you never know what the temperature is coming out from the flame according to the because on an electronic induction which we usually have in home that show you the exact temperature but here it's not written any where when did you learn that this is the 18 year when did you learn that this is yeah since the beginning i'm i'm working as a continental chef so in a continental cuisine they all make all the italian french germans europeans and whatever is coming out from the asia it comes under the continental cuisine so i basically learn all of the, the dishes not like the famous dishes they usually teach not the scratches which comes from the villages or whatever so it's not that much hard if you have interest to cook anything in interest in any any field you will get definitely you will get opportunity to learn <clears throat> yeah even the italians you know italian food also comes under the continental cuisine or oh, the mexican as well the italian i i work there as well like uh the open fire with wooden open fire pizza i like the i like working there it it's a really fun they put the live um fresh mozzarella cheese which tastes really great in india also nowadays you will find some restaurants doing the same thing so from which part you are from gujarat I'll check the rice how it is right now. It's not cooked. I can say it's near the city of Rajkot. Nice. <clears throat> I think you are not interested in cricket. You know, Mera, just because of you, I'm enjoying my this first live session because at least someone is <laughs> taking interest and in talking with me. Not much, not in the sport, generally speaking. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Let's check the chicken. I'm sure it will be hot right now. Nice, isn't? I can say in a camera you cannot see the exact, exact color of how it is coming. And I think the potato is also cooked. Yeah, it's cooked here. Nicely coming out. If the potato is cooked, that means carrot definitely cooked the mushroom. I don't care about the mushroom, <laughs> which automatically cooked. So this consistency, this consistency is nice with the rice. I don't want to cook it more. I know how boring it can be to stream 
without anyone chatting even if you have thousand of viewers yeah exactly only the viewers make interest in making the rice is only 80% done right now chicken is also for me 95 is done mm -hmm. nice And yeah, see the size of egg here. We don't usually see the brown brown color of eggs in India in a local market, but here you will find the only, only this. You know what we call in India? It's a desi desi murgi wala egg. You know. So if I will break this one, you will find the double egg yolk in some of them, as what they told me and i found i usually eat them in breakfast and if you have egg boiled egg you can put in this this pot, pot. Uh, i think i should check the seasoning because i don't like that much spicy i didn't put much additional spices i just got the green chili and also one more thing i didn't get the fresh coriander leaf here as you know it's very hard to get some all of the indian things but i can show you i can show you this one i got this natural mint i buy this one the mint the fresh mint is here i just i don't need to tear it i just need to give some water on a daily basis you will get the fresh always as you see most of the european and italian people keep these things in their kitchen so the smell is coming really nice because bees, being an Indian and especially the North Indian guys what they do whatever you are cooking just put the coriander at the last personally if you will ask me I like coriander it smells really good so within a five minute I will start doing the I start eating I can't I'm hungry right now I didn't I skipped my lunch as well hmm the rice is done I think double egg yolk is there natural for the chicken or it is a real do medicine no 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 it's not a medicine or chemical you know when the hen you know hen usually give the egg so when the hen is start growing old so their egg automatically <coughs> become bigger as compared to the normal one so i got this egg from one of my friends here working in farm but these eggs are not allowed to sell in local market in uk it's the, the hair rule are different not like in india you can sell anything but here they usually keep them aside they sell all of the eggs should be on a equal size so this this one is large one so they automatically come come to know that there is a some fault in that so it's healthy to eat for us but they can't sell it on a market on a base, basis to earn money it's not allowed to them that's why i got them the hen when the hen start growing they give the bigger egg it's as compared to the younger one it's not only one i think if i show you they all are in a different size different eggs so when you will go in a proper farm hen farm or poultry farm any of the poultry farm they usually take the all the same things like in any of the market you will see you will see if i will show you the potatoes all are same size you know see i got the potatoes you can see all of them are from the same side they are selling like that everything is with the same side even the onions even the onions are from the same size so they have the mentality like that that's why the things are expensive also here and one more thing i will tell you here in uk you don't need to wash any of the meat any of the vegetables anything just buy it from outside they are being packed very nicely and use it as a as that they wash it 
automatically from the farm or everything they have a different process here it's not like you know not like in, in india you buy anything from outside and washing again you need to wash them in your home here is different which is nice i feel nice here so my rice is done i need to stain them so i got the strainer i'll turn off the gas so as you can see it's already full rice is full i need to strain them whatever will be the additional water will go out So, <clears throat> rice is done, I would like to spread them away a little bit, which will help you. It's a plain rice, you can make it any, any peas pulao, jeera pulao, whatever you want. But for me, I like simple plain rice. Even frankly speaking, I don't even like the rice. I like to eat more chapati, but it's easy to cook here when you are cooking for yourself, even no matter how much you are interested. When you come out from work and again, you see you have to cook for yourself like Indian food. Yeah, some people ask me always, you, you are chef, you're professional chef. You can eat anything on your hotel. Why need to cook for yourself? But the thing is different. How much you eat the same food there? In a, anyhow, you are origin from India. You need to be stuck on your own food. You can eat for one day, two day, three days, but the fourth or five, fifth day, you will definitely miss your own food. So that's the reason I always prefer to eat home food. If you will mash the potato in that, it will automatically become more thick. But as I mentioned, it's a hot, hot pot, so let it be like this. In Indian style, if you, I will turn off the gas first. It's done from my side. I will remove it from here. clean my area a little bit showing my video <clears throat> I remove this pan from here because even after closing this one it it give you the heat till five more than five minutes so it stops already the chicken is done everything is done you can see you can see the chicken is all well cooked the meat is cooked I need to handle next time I will go live I will use the tripod don't worry guys for the I'm sorry for this right now okay, I will taste this one the vegetable Yeah, why I check the carrot? Because sometimes when when you are putting any any of the vegetables with the meat items, sometimes the vegetables doesn't get the proper flavor of spiciness spices. That's why I choose this one. That's perfectly fine. So 
as a chef i am cooking for myself i would like to put this this mint leaf in the top like that only i will tear them and put them inside okay wait i will show you how originally supposed to cook coriander in that but i'm not washing them it's already washed so i'm not even cutting them because any flavor item you are putting in your vegetables any herbs any like yeah, this is mint is also herbs so if you are putting them in your things always tear them nicely not uh, like this always tear them nicely it will give you more flavor it will come naturally if you are cutting with a nice or a knife or iron iron thing any of the things they will mix up with the things you always put little bigger in a indian food like for a garnishing you can put roughly not roughly very fine but if you are putting this for a flavor always put this one and one more thing when you when you have coriander always put coriander stem with the tomato at the time of tomato put the coriander coriander stem don't throw them wash them nicely and put them in your meat items or cooking items if you are cooking any of the gravy tomato based gravy like uh, butter chicken butter paneer butter masala whatever based of tomatoes gravy always use that one i already have lots of recipes of them in my youtube channel you guys can go and check that one so my rice is done let's let's don't waste that much time I, i'm not using this plate i will use the white one i have done another one what would you make if you uh, thanks for the tips okay what do you make if you have had one liter of milk left over and didn't want to let it spoil i will make a paneer definitely paneer but i am very very much big lover of drinking milk see as i can show you in my fridge in my fridge if there is nothing is there milk will be always there i like to drink this milk this one is pure fat milk what do you do make if you had one liter of milk left over left over yeah left over in which, what kind of left over you are thinking i don't think any of the milk will be left over but if it is if you are thinking there's some smell is coming out or it's going to be spoiled definitely make the paneer of that what you will do just start boiling the milk first boil the milk naturally if it get is get the curdal if it is start getting coagulated make sure throw it out don't use it if you have any doubt just throw it out simply but if it is nice just put some few naturally lemon juice or either vinegar and make it paneer with that cottage cheese and for the vegetarians as you mentioned earlier you are pure vegetarian is better to uh, like the paneer is a non veg is for them as earlier i was not non vegetarian from the beginning after coming in the industry i started in non veg as you know i am chef i have to taste lot of lot of things differently so okay i will eat now and also tell me mehraj if you are okay with the answer or you might be Uh, thinking to get some other answer of leftover milk if you have any other queries maybe i took your question in a wrong way if you have i'm going to close this live very soon because it's already one hour for me i usually don't take that much time for cooking but it was very nice to talk with you
if you are cooking in kitchen always clean the clean the area as it is it was before okay all right now the chicken part okay remove this thing so the smell is coming very nice very nice i can't even explain wow mushrooms I like mushrooms very well yeah on the top I'll put some mint leaf You know what we while working in a kitchen what we call ourselves like whatever you are putting on the top it's become automatically a garnish because you're a chef <laughs> it's not like that sometimes it doesn't work like that i'll show you guys how it looks Can I contact you later on Instagram regarding moving to UK? I'm a computer engineer student right now. Might look for opportunity abroad later and could you use some guide? Yeah, you can. I have two Instagram accounts basically. The Chef Akashner, if you search on Instagram, that is my professional account. You can come over there and whenever I get time, all whenever I get time, I always reply people. Don't worry about that. You can join me anytime okay so this was a great session with you guys thank you thank you so much i will start i will enjoy eating with my one of friends so let's try this i will taste this together with the rice Mmm. Amazing. But yeah, the only thing I would say, instead of mint, put coriander in that. That would be more good. And the Indian is Indian green chili I got yesterday. That is really spicy. The taste is balanced, really nice. Amazing. Thank you guys. See you again. Bye bye. Take care. Are you sure that you want to stop streaming? Yeah, okay.